thrown out because it was purely a political question, not really a judicial one. And uh, Judge Rousseau of the Superior Court of Quebec uh, said that no, in fact, this is a question that is admissible to the courts. The courts can have their say in this, and, and that's been clearly determined. And that, that aspect that was determined by Judge Rousseau uh, was upheld by the uh, Appeals Court of Quebec that said, well, in fact, yes, this is a question that can uh, rightfully be asked to the courts to see if people's voting rights are, are being upheld or not. So it's, you know, the legitimacy of the question and the fact that it's not really just a political matter has been clearly determined. So now it's really up to the Supreme Court to determine, all right, this is a legitimate question. Now, is there truly infringement of voters' rights or not because of the, the mechanism of the first-past-the-post system? agree with you that it was a political question, but they didn't agree with you on the outcome of the... Well, w the, first, uh, the Procureur General asked that our motion be thrown out. And that was, you know, that was rejected. Our motion held because it is not just a political question. Then in the Superior Court, uh, Judge Lefebvre came back and said, actually, I think it's a political question, which was a bit of a contradiction in a, in, in a sense, um, in his decision. Uh, and said, you know, I don't really, I think this is mainly a political question and not a judicial one. Uh, we appealed to his decision. We felt that, as Brian had mentioned, our empirical ed evidence, it wasn't answered to at all in the decision. So when it got to the appeals court, uh, the appeals court judges, the, th the three judges, they decided that the voting system was fair, didn't, didn't uh, create infringement. But they, what they contradicted in the first judgment, they said, Contrary to what J Judge Lefebvre said, we do agree that it is something that is subject to judicial review. So that's been, you know, it's been fought over in the courts and that, that's been determined so far. So uh, that's kind of the legitimacy of the question being asked to the courts. Now, the problem is that in, in both instances, at the Quebec Superior Court and at the Quebec Court uh, of Appeals, uh, nobody's really answered to the evidence we put forward showing mathematically, showing historically how the current voting system is truly unfair to voters and how many voters don't have the right to a significant participation in, in the electoral process in, in naming, in, in having people go to the House of Commons on their behalf, the example given to the Green Party earlier. And, and in the judgments, nobody's answered to that evidence saying, well, we disagree for this reason or we agree for that reason. It's just kind of been sidestepped and we find that truly unfortunate because we had a lot of really good experts and we'd, we hope that the, we get a true answer on the nature of the case of the questions we're asking to the court from the Supreme Court. Can I ask if you've had any discussions with either the NDP, the Liberals, or the Bloc to, to come up with any kind of political solution in terms of legislation to this, to this problem? Not in any detail. I mean, certainly I know there are some members of the, all, all of those parties who, well, I'm not so sure about the Bloc, who actually recognize that uh, proportional representation would be fairer, uh, but at, at, in terms of any kind of, it would be it would be a stretch to say we'd had serious discussions about taking this on. Um, for my view, I think you know, and for the Greens, what we really think we need to have, obviously, we're taking this forward, and I'm personally taking this forward in the courts. And I'm very grateful, by the way, that uh, Fair Vote Canada and I are jointly represented by Peter Rosenthal, and and you'll see, and if Julius Gray is representing the main action, we we'll, we do have a good serious case before the Supreme Court of Canada. But in the meantime, I think we really do need to educate. You know, our, you know, Canadians as a whole, what of the problems with first past the post? Because we've seen various provincial efforts fail, where I think the question has been put f first about do you want to change what you know to something you don't understand very well that's very complicated, and so BC voters came very close to approving it once with a very tough threshold to move to single transferable vote, and then of course in Ontario we had the vote on mixed member. Uh, representation, mixed member proportional. I'm really of the view that Canada should follow the example of New Zealand, where New Zealand is an ex, you know, exact model of the Canadian system, Commonwealth nation, Westminster democracy, and went through, Westminster parliamentary system, went through a, 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 a royal commission that her, took testimony all through the country, and then they had two referenda. Now they have mixed member proportional. Uh, without, you know, and it's, it's uh, the system that we have in Canada would adapt itself very easily to the kind of shift that we saw happen in New Zealand. And with luck and with uh, good argumentation for the Supreme Court of Canada, it might be our courts that push us to take that step of saying, okay, if first past the post is unfair, which we allege it is, that it de deprives us of effective representation and of having our every vote count, 
uh, once we get through that step, then we need to say, well, what do we, with what do we replace it? And I think that's where we really need to get out and hear from Canadians and, and, and have a, a royal commission or a study commission that travels the country and hears from all views because that process itself educates people about why we need to make the change. Would you say, though, like if, um, I mean, it, it seems historically that some parties have have proposed this or supported it, but then as soon as they start to benefit from the system, they back away, you know, what would you say to people who are concerned or cynical about, about any politician who who, uh, who says that they're they're pushing for this right now? Well, I think we really need, to, you're right, I mean, they're in, in their, in, just in personal terms, um, Stephen Harper once personally supported proportional representation. Jean Chrétien did at one point, but the Liberal Party never did, and certainly um, Stephen Harper has not dealt with it. I did talk to him directly about it once, and he said it, he had, he sort of he admitted that yes, he he favored proportional representation. I think his exact words were, "I don't think you'll find uh, that people want to change the way by which they got elected." Uh, so that once you're in Parliament, but I can tell you I definitely want to change the way by which I got elected. I'd like to see proportional representation in place. And I think our best way to get there is through public demands. The political parties, I mean, the NDP has had on paper that they favor proportional representation. They had many opportunities, particularly over the life of Paul Martin's minority government and then Stephen Harper's majority government, minority government, to mention this to make it a condition of continuing to support a government that we at least start a process federally and they never have now the current situation may in fact get the liberals to start thinking seriously that they would have done much better in the 2011 election had they had proportional representation I, I think we just need to open up the conversation because when the voting system is unfair to me it's the key issue is not that it's unfair to the green party that's immaterial it's unfair to the system, to democracy. It's unfair to voters. And I think it's a big reason for the decline in voter turnout. It's one of the things, if you look around the world, you look at Scandinavia, over 80% of people vote. Uh, you look at, you know, looking around the world at countries in Denmark, over 90% of people vote. In Greece, over 90% of people. And overall, the, you know, if you want to look at the lowest voter turnouts anywhere in the world, it's the remaining three countries that have first past the post, the U.S., the U.K., and Canada. If, if I can add to that, too, as, uh, as Elizabeth pointed out, yes, uh, back in 1984, Jean Chrétien said, if I'm ever the Prime Minister of Canada, the first thing I'm going to do is bring in proportional representation so that the Liberal Party could win some seats in the West. Because the Liberal Party gets a quarter of the votes in the West, but only uh, wins uh, seats very spotty here and there. Um, back in the 1990s, when the right was divided and the West wanted in, uh, Stephen Harper and Tom Flanagan were uh, uh, supporting uh, proportional representation. Uh, now, not so much. The Bloc Québécois, as far as I know, has always had proportional representation as official party policy, and so is the Parti Québécois, but they weren't talking about it much when they were winning two-thirds of the seats in Quebec with one-third of the votes. Uh, now the situation is different. They've got something like 19% of the votes and four seats, so maybe, maybe they'll be willing to talk about it now. The NDP? Uh, has always supported proportional representation. Why not? 80% of their votes go straight in the toilet uh, at the federal level. Uh, Jack Layton was a great champion for proportional representation. I've been talking to a lot of MPs, talking to a lot of New Democrats, uh, and they tell me they're still going to support uh, proportional representation, even though they're now poised to possibly be the party that will get the 40% of the votes and the 60% of the seats next time, and, and we'll, be, uh, we'll be on their tails to make sure they do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <coughs> More picture. Yeah, could, uh, could you get a as well? Yeah, definitely. Get a couple of pictures of this. Yeah. So should we get the? Uh, yes, I. Yeah. Shake any kind of. Yeah.